So I'm Artemis Teigen with the Artemis Center for Family Therapy, and we're meeting today with my colleague, Dr. Dennis Coffey, who has been a psychiatrist in private practice for over 35 years. He also is with the Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health, San Pedro Mental Health. Exactly. And uh, I also am joined by my colleague, Ronnie Davies, who is with the Artemis Center. So there's a whole field of research right now about the efficacy of mindfulness um, treatment with uh, severe depression. And um, one of the things that we're learning is that um, the way that people who are depressed think about their thoughts, the way that they interpret them, can be half the battle, right? So that they might be reflecting uh, on the quality or state of mind as if it will always be like that, as if um, it's a bad thing, as if there needs to be a judgment around how they're functioning, right? So when we use mindfulness, we're trying to help them diffuse that they can have a day where depression shows up, right? And there doesn't have to be an evaluation or an analysis of it. It's just that today there's some depression. Right, mm -hmm. And later on this afternoon, it might be different. And tomorrow, it could be worse or better. I don't know. But we don't know that it's always going to be a particular way. Today, on a scale of 1 to 10, depression was a 5. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. known it to be a 10. Maybe one day, it'll be a 3. And when it's lower, I can function better, right? Mm -hmm. And when it's not, that's okay, because I have depression and it's an illness, and I'm not gonna mm -hmm. be at 100% every day, and that's all right. And when I'm not at 100%, I can let people know, hey, I'm not at 100%, right? T tomorrow mm -hmm. might be different. So there's this compassionate piece that can come in and say, it's fine to be right where you're at, yep. you know? I don't have to beat myself up about it, I don't have to, should myself into being someplace else, mm -hmm. right? This is where I'm at today, it's okay. Sure, I refer to depression as probably the worst thing that can affect a human being. Because no matter what else you have, on some day you may have a good attitude about your arthritis. Another yeah, day you right. may have a bad attitude. Right. But depression is your attitude. So to have a good attitude about having a bad attitude is very difficult. <laughs> and depression, <laughs> because yes. it seems to go on forever. <laughs> Isn't it? So it if does. you can <laughs> win this battle that, well, yeah. it won't be there forever. Yeah. That's a huge benefit mm -hmm. for someone who is severely depressed. Yeah. And in my work with folks who have real severe depression, what I notice uh, is that humor is uh, tremendously helpful. I will often incorporate um, a YouTube video or you know just silliness in the session mm -hmm. to try to help bring the client right there into the room with me and like whoa caught you not being depressed mm -hmm. you know <laughs> like what's that about <laughs> you know like if that could happen for a moment what else might be able to happen mm -hmm. like you yeah. know if I acted yeah. ridiculously stupid with you well <laughs> I think these things are a great benefit to people who suffer yeah. from yeah. depression I really appreciate your interest in uh, the health benefits of mm -hmm. mindfulness and uh, we're always happy to talk about them and always uh, very welcome your input. Yeah. Well, I always appreciate what you guys do because the patients always swear by you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. I'm good at recognizing talent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.